explain what you, what character you play in the Terror? Yes, so I'm uh, Henry Goodsir, who's the assistant surgeon on the HMS Erebus at the beginning. So he's um, he's a he's a beautiful character actually, uh, a very open-hearted, very curious, uh, very excited to be on the expedition, like everybody, I think. And uh, he's, you know, he starts off, I think his dreams are to capture as much as the natural world as he can and record it and take it home and probably become famous on the back of that. But, uh, but no, and um, yes, and he's an assistant surgeon, so he's like at the kind of, he's had experience, but his surgery was learned by just observing, so he's, um, yes, he's in the process of becoming a fully-fledged surgeon as well. So I've seen the first couple of episodes. Would you say that the viewer is kind of imagining and seeing the terror a bit through your character's eyes? I think so. Well, I don't know. I think he's a very sympathetic character, and I think he's, he's quite sensitive to his surroundings, whereas and he's very quickly sensitive to his surroundings. And perhaps because, perhaps because it seems quite alien to him, the world, the world of the ship. He's worked on ships before, but the world of the ship, the world of the Arctic. So he has a kind of, I think it's that curiosity that kind of, and openness that allows the audience to kind of come into the script a bit. Um, a couple of things I wanted to ask about. First of all, obviously the surgery aspect of it. I know that you're an actor and that this will have been using yeah. not real blood. Uh, but yeah. how did you find doing those? You've got quite a few gory scenes. Yeah, well, I really enjoyed it, is the honest answer. We had somebody obviously advising on how the um, operations would go, and it was brutal. It's not like... It's not brain surgery. <laughs> it's it's really brutal what they had to work with. They're painkillers. They, they weren't painkillers then. So um, no, I really I I really enjoyed it. But you know, looking at those instruments, you know, I'm kind of glad I live now rather than <laughs> rather than there. You know. Yeah, and their lack of sanitization and everything yeah. else. Um, and uh, just being outside and doing some of the, the shooting where everything's very dark and you don't know what's going to happen. How dark was it when you were filming and did you get spooked at all on set? Well, I mean, it very, do you mean when we were uh, when we, within the studio? Yeah. Yes, sometimes you couldn't see very far in front of you at all. And that was, well, I mean, you were in danger of falling over guy ropes and uh, bumping into other actors. But uh, I don't, did I get spooked? I think I got more spooked on the ship, actually. The ship was, felt very atmospheric to me. In fact, all, this, all the sets were atmospheric, but I so just... Was the, was the ship built just for this? Yeah. And it was, I mean, it was painstakingly built, I think, the detail of the work they did on it to get it as accurate as possible was, it was amazing. Actually, I'd done a, you know, obviously done a lot of research, uh, you know, about being a Victorian, about being a surgeon, about, you know, what it would be like to work for the Discovery Service as much as I could. But then when you go, when I got into the studio and saw the, the ship, the model of the ship, it was actually breathtaking. Like, you couldn't quite, it did so much work for you. You didn't have to imagine. I mean, obviously the, obviously the sets were surrounded by green screen, and so that was a lot of imaginative work, but the atmospheres that they created were amazing. And just finally, uh, Motherland as well. Oh, yes. What, is there more coming? And Hopefully there's more coming, yes. What kind of reaction did you have to your character in that one? Well, I, I mean, what I say about <laughs> Kevin, that, that character, is nobody really ran up to say oh god i'm just like kevin uh they might say they're more like good sir than uh, than kevin but yeah there should be more if they if the writers can get together they're very busy but if they can there'll be more fantastic well enjoy tonight thank you